Hey. You guys got it? Yeah. That's great. Hey, you know you don't got to do those tests, man. You can tell them you don't want to do them. You two people are here. Hey, if he speaks again in the first man, investigation, please place him under arrest. Shut up. Interfering. He's a punk right here. Don't go on the street. I don't mind you film. Just stay on the sidewalk, okay? Hey, don't touch me. You're going to make a mistake. I'm What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today's video is my own footage. I was out in Scottsdale, Arizona with Arizona Avenger and Tempe Against Police Violence. So the first part of this video is a five minute interaction with the police that did a DUI stop on a silver Dodge Challenger. Now when we showed up, I initially told the guy he didn't have to do the tests and the officer told another officer to arrest him if I say something again essentially trying to violate my freedom of speech. So I spent the rest of the stop flexing as many rights as I could think of at the time. The second half of this video is gonna be a phone call to the police department of me trying to identify the officer you're about to meet in this video. He wouldn't identify himself on the scene, so I had to call the police department. And the funny thing is, the interaction's only five minutes long, but it took me almost 20 minutes to identify this guy, and the back and forth games with these people is hilarious. Don't miss any of this. Yeah. Hey, you know you don't got to do those tests, man. You can tell them you don't want to do them. You two people are here. Hey, if he speaks again, the again for the investigation, please place him under arrest. Shut up. Interfering, interfering with physical act. I got yeah, laws just, in my pocket. Fine. You two in favor? Stay right where you are and do not interfere with us, all right? Yeah. Officer Vasquez, badge 1515. Yeah. 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 I just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking you not to stay right there. I do understand the law. I'm just asking you not to. It is right there. Okay, that's fine. Stay right there. It is definitely that. If he says one more word, put him under arrest. Hey, you ain't got to take them tests. Are you trying to say that he's required to take those tests? He does not have to take roadside sobriety tests. We don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's why you just threatened arrest for fucking interfering when interfering is a physical act, you dumb fuck. I'm still talking. I ain't wearing cuffs either, punk. You're going to call my lawyer, you touch me, asshole. So you guys could have done a good job, Ted, open your fucking mouth. Yeah, he said he don't know. Hey, who told me to stay put? I'm moving around. I just wanted to flex that right now. I'm moving around. You like that? What's your name? I tough. I can't even say that. Most 
dude's a punk right here. Okay. Don't go on the street. I don't mind you film. Just stand on the sidewalk, okay? Hey, don't touch me. You're gonna make a mistake. I'm asking you to step on the sidewalk. These are the laws right here. I'm asking you to step Am I obstructing the roadway? You're in the roadway. Am I obstructing it? That's the only law, asshole. There's no law about being in the roadway. Shut the fuck up. You guys have safety vehicles there. You guys don't tell me shit. Roadway. I got the laws right here. Make a mistake. Please fucking make a I'm mistake. Just make sure so Please you're... fucking make a mistake. Call a supervisor before yeah, you do that. Coming. Good. Good. Unless I'm obstructing the roadway, shut the fuck up. I thought he was moving his car. I don't see anybody moving. If he's going to move, he can move. I know I'm how to back up. Sure. I'm a grown ass man. Guys join the fucking plethora of idiots out here in Arizona. These are the laws right here, ARSs. I got obstructing a roadway. I have obstructing criminal investigation, which is your idea of interfering. That's not a law. Interfering isn't a fucking law, geniuses. Quote the ARS for interfering. There isn't one. Ha ha. You want to see him? I got him laminated. Hey, dumbass. Fuck you. Hey, what's your name and your badge number? Bye, pussy. Bye bye, pussy. Scottsdale PD wants to be famous. Oh, we're gonna be on you guys like fucking flies on shit tonight. See you later. TikTok, dumbass. You're gonna be on YouTube. Oh, you're cute. TikTok's for children, dumbass. Yeah, that's why you're watching it, right? I don't even have that app on my phone, buddy. Enjoy your TikTok. <laughs> huh? I know, that was pretty good. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Trying to see where Alright, so the first attempt to call the Scottsdale Police Department to identify this officer, I played it off as any other American would. Any other unknowing American would. Let them transfer me, say whatever they were going to say, and of course it led to nothing but a voicemail. The second time is when it got interesting and I asserted myself a little bit more and made them do their job. And this is exactly what you should do if an officer fails to identify themselves on the scene. Make sure to log the time, the location, and any other identifying factors that you can for that specific incident. And then call the police department and make sure that you push the issue because they do not want to help you. And this is proof of that. Enjoy. You have reached the Scottsdale Police. Scottsdale Police, this is Mark. Hey Mark, how's it going? My name's Chris. Um, I am trying to get an officer's name and badge number for a complaint. And I only have the license plate number to the undercover vehicle. Would you be able to help me with that, or do I need to call somewhere else? That sounds like an internal affairs complaint. You're asking me about an undercover vehicle and the officer associated with it. Well, he wasn't undercover, but he wouldn't identify himself, so I have his vehicle number. Can you transfer me to a dispatch, possibly? This is dispatch. Oh, okay, great. Like I said, Internal Affairs Complaint. Hmm. The party you have called. Internal Affairs. At extension 21914 cannot be reached. Scottsdale Police, this is Paige. Hey Paige, how's it going? My name's Chris. I need to give you a vehicle license plate number and then I need the officer's name and badge number that was driving it last night. Okay, I wouldn't be able to give you that. Um, Why not? I can give you 
get you in touch with a sergeant. Yeah. And in charge of that officer, do you know what unit number? Not the plate number, but do you know it was, there's a vehicle number on the back? No, it was, an, that it was an unmarked unit, and but the officer was in uh, full police uniform. He refused to identify, that's why I only have the license plate number, so I'm trying to find out who he is. Alright, let me get you over to uh, a supervisor. Hold on for me. Thank you. Thank you for holding. My name is Raleigh. How can I help you? I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is Raleigh. 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 My name's Chris. Um, I am looking to get an officer's name and badge number based off of a license plate that I obtained last night. He wouldn't identify himself okay. and all I have is his license plate and I want to put in a complaint so I need his name and badge number. Okay, um, to do that I can actually transfer you to our internal affairs and mm, they will do no, an no, no, no. with the information no, no, that no, you have. No, 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 no. I was already transferred there. I don't want to be transferred there. You guys have information, they have to log who takes what vehicle, who's assigned to what. I have his license plate number, I have the time and date, I have other officers. I, I understand that, listen, I understand that, but you're wanting to make a complaint. Complaints are I, not handled by me. Complaints I, I'm are not putting in a complaint affairs. with you. All I want you to do is identify the officer that was driving the vehicle with the license plate number that I have. It's that simple. I'm not trying to file a complaint right now. I will do that at another time once I have obtained the officer's name and badge number. Okay, and the internal affairs can handle that as well. No. Is there a reason you don't want to be transferred down there? Because you can do it right now. You, this is dispatch. I have the license plate number. I not, have the. Not necessarily. No, not necessarily off of the license plate. If there was a vehicle shop number, then I can pull it up pretty easily. But I can't necessarily pull it up that easily with the license plate. So that's where I need to get you to our internal affairs. They're going to be able to dig into that information a little bit quicker <laughs> and further than I can. Ma'am, I'm not trying to be rude to you, but I'm not going to get bounced around. I'm going to continue to call or I will come down there myself in person and get this information. So you can either help me nicely right now or I can start to be an a-hole about it. It's up to you. You guys are public servants. I am asking for name and badge number of an officer I want to put a complaint in. If you are hindering that process right now, you are going to be complicit in it. I'm, I'm not hindering the process. You're not I'm giving, giving you me the information that I want. That information. That's, I'm giving you the that's information unacceptable. That I'm Internal getting. Affairs handles complaints. I'm not filing a complaint right now. What part of that don't they, you understand? They look into vehicle what, shops and license plates and all those, what, that information as well, sir. Supervisor, what's your badge number? I'm B as in boy 1562. Okay. I'm going to put in a complaint about you too if you fail to help me right now. I don't think you quite understand who you're talking to or what's going on. I need this officer's name and badge number. So There's help me with that. that. I'm not, I don't want to like talk said, to Internal Affairs. If you had a shop number, if what, you had a what's shop, a shop number? number? Be, a, it, all our vehicles are documented with a shop number. Not unmarked units that are doing DUI stops in downtown Scottsdale. All I have okay, is a so license that is plate a number. Department and our internal affairs can look into that information for you. <laughs> so there wasn't a Scottsdale police officer. I don't know. We do. There are other departments in other cities that do downtown area help and stuff. We have other agencies that come down and help us all the time. So that's why, even if I ran it, there's no guarantee that I would be able to pull that information if it's another agency. So I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying you're to get not. You you're the trying right to, no. to get, no. You're trying you're to transfer, transfer me to internal you're affairs. You're not giving me answer right now that you're wanting, and I'm trying to refer you so you can get no. the right you're answer. You're only giving me one option, and that's to internal affairs. I'm not trying to talk to them right now. When I want to submit my complaint, I can talk to them. Internal affairs does not handle dispatch. Which officers are driving which vehicles? They do not just hop in a vehicle and take off. Everybody gets documented. They have to know who's driving what vehicle. I'm not an idiot. I have the license plate number. That's all you need. I have the time. I have the location. I have other officers' names and badge numbers that I did identify themselves at the scene. I have enough identifying information for you to come to a conclusion on who was driving what vehicle under your perception that, that you, for you that is enough information it, it, based it, off it, my capabilities <laughs> I, i'm trying to get again i am trying to get you to the right resources i can pull up the officers names and badge numbers that you already have and see if they were all on a traffic stop together or something along those lines that's fine i can do that research for you but again i can't just
just run a license plate, especially if it was another agency. I'm not going to have that information. Okay, well, at 1145-ish, you're going to have a CAD report that's going to say that a Camaro was pulled over with a black male driving it, that a field sobriety test was done on him. Now, that's enough information right there at 1145 last night for you to find out who who committed, who who pulled the vehicle over and it was the unmarked unit. And I want the, that officer's name and badge number that did the field sobriety test. It's really simple. I mean, if you can keep bouncing me around all you want, say internal affairs, you I can't help me. I, Just I ask me for the right around. information. Ask me the for right the right information. information. You Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to escalate this. You are escalating this. I'm trying to get you the answers that you're looking for. But I do need a little bit more information than just the license plate. So, yes, if it was last night at 1145, I can look that information up. That's fine. I have no problem with that. What were the cross streets that this was at? So, we were right outside of Bourbon and Bones. 11:45. So I'm assuming that the traffic stop had initiated at approximately approximately 11:35 by the time I got there. Looks like Third Ave is across the street. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I hope you understand that. I call multiple police departments often and do the same 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 process to identify officers that fail to identify. And I don't run into this problem at all. So it's it's a little irritating when I'm running into it now when I deal with the same issue across multiple police departments in Arizona. I'm not new to this. It's so all the same operating, operating procedures. I understand mm -hmm. the okay. police department so you operates. Don't know all of our operating procedures. So you're, you're right. I don't know like all of them. You're right. Thing. You're right. I don't know all of them, but there are basic ones that are all the same. Some information the public does not have access to, but the information that is available to the public, you best believe I've read it. And um, what was the vehicle again? The one that was pulled over? Yeah. Uh, it was like a really light silver Dodge Challenger. aftermarket rims on it. Black male driving it. Unmarked pulled it over. There was about three responding marked Scottsdale units. Okay, um, based off of the information that I pulled from last night, um, the type of vehicle it was, it would have been Officer Clore, B-L-O-R-E, and it's batch 1472. Can you spell that name again for me, please? D is in Charles, L is in Lincoln, O is in Ocean, R is in Robert, E is in Edward. Chlor, okay. 1472. Now, you were going to say something before I interrupted you. I apologize. What were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say, based off the, the type of um, unit that that officer is, he would probably be in an unmarked unit, but that doesn't mean that he's the only unmarked unit. So based off what you're telling me, that's the one that I can conclude based off the information I have. So if you have a license plate, I still would suggest you contacting the Internal Affairs to double check that information, but based off what I can pull today is, is the officer Clore. Well, I mean, I, I, you, you definitely have enough information to get me the right officer's name because he was the only unmarked unit there. So. But I'm, I'm saying based off our call signs for our officers, mm -hmm. there's some that we know that are unmarked, but then there's other patrol cars that they can be in an unmarked and still have a certain call sign to them. So that's why I can't 100% say that it was necessarily that officer based off all the call signs that were on that call. So I'm just saying based off his particular call sign, he would he's normally in an unmarked unit from what I'm aware of. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, well, I mean, I, I would just seem really unfair if I put a complaint in based off of information that a different police officer gave me when they can find the right officer. I don't want to bother anybody else but the guy that 
violated several of his department policies, so I just want to make sure I have the right information. You know what I mean? That's fine. There are, like I said, internal affairs and our department will investigate it, so with the information that you have. All right. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. Bye-bye.